This is a beautiful forest, a tree plantation. The trees were planted years ago. They are now matured and are ready to be harvested. Loggers here in Idaho have farmed and logged this land for generations. The land has been kind to them, giving them the soil, water, and weather for healthy tree growing. In return, they love the land and the livelihood it provides. They harvest the trees, but only with minimal disturbance to the land, because the land and the trees are their assets, their livelihood. Over the years, they have refined a logging method that has greatly reduced the impact to the soil. It is also cost effective. Tree harvesting with winches on an excavator yarder is not entirely new. Their success rests on adapting a pair of well-proven skitter winches on an excavator yarder. They are Allied model WH-400 winches, which have been used on skitters for over 40 years. The new adaptation has a unique design found in no other winches. It allows them to haul in a full load of logs quickly. When the carriage is returned to the logged area, it just slides downhill at good speed by gravity. No additional fuel to burn, no pump, and motor to turn. Let's take a look at how this excavator yarder winch works. When the hooksman finishes choking the trees to the carriage, the excavator operator tightens the skyline to lift the logs off the ground. He then winches in the main line to haul in the full load of logs. There's minimal drag of logs on the ground. As a result, the operator can winch in the full load with ease, and there is minimal disturbance to the ground. No heavy equipment to compact the soil. The unique design of this allied winch kicks in when the operator is ready to send the carriage back down to the logged area. All he has to do is to put the main line winch in free spool. The carriage will slide downhill by gravity at good speed. Notice the quiet operation. The engine is at low idle. The pump is not pumping. The winch motor is not turning. No additional fuel is burned. No additional wear and tear on the pump or motor. Yet the carriage is sliding down at fast, controllable speed. Gravity is doing the work. He can slow down the carriage at any time by applying the oil-cooled clutch on the winch. This is possible because of a unique free spool design on the winch. He now brings the carriage to a smooth stop at the logged area. It starts the next cycle of log in haul. Fast, quiet, and cost efficient. Let's take a closer look at the inner working of the winch. The pair of Allied WH-400 winches are powered by the excavator track motor hydraulic supply. By actuating the diverter valve, the operator directs the hydraulic flow from the two track motors to the winches. He uses the same track motor controls to control the winches, the left for the skyline winch in the front, and right for the main line winch at the back. He can use either the hand control or the foot pedal control. Other than the diverter valve and the cooling valve and hoses, no other parts are required, simple to install. Let's take a look at the unique design that makes the gravity reel out possible. This is an exclusive design found only on the Allied WH-400 yarder winch. This is a spring-applied, hydraulically released multiple disc clutch located inside the drum. Disengaging the clutch allows the drum to reel out the carriage by gravity. The operator can slip the clutch to modulate the line out speed. The clutch is constantly cooled by hydraulic oil. This same Allied WH-400 winch can also be used as a single winch system on an excavator yarder for selective logging. The Allied WH-400 knows logging. It was originally born as a skitter winch engineered strictly for logging. It has been skidding logs on skitters like Caterpillar, Clark, Timberjack, and Tiger Cat for over 40 years. Its frame, bearings, and shaft are sized for heavy-duty logging. The clutch is now oil-cooled. The drum is now wider than the standard winch shown here for more capable capacity. Other than that, it retains its simplicity and reliability. And that is what the loggers like most about this winch. Kevin Cothran of Clearwater Hydraulics was the first to put these winches to work on an excavator yarder back in 2006. Well, this winch has been around for many years. It's a proven concept. Other than the minor modification for the width of the drum, everything is identical to what has been proven and it's a very reliable winch. I think it's real good. It's got just the right speed that you can get the drags up there in a good quick time, but it's got a lot of power too and the winch always holds up. It is very cost effective. One of the main things of this winch that really shines is the free spool aspect of it. You do not need 
to throttle the machine up and burn extra fuel to run the line out. As far as install, it's straightforward and simple, and the maintenance on this winch is virtually maintenance free once it's in place. You don't have to power it out, the gravity does the work, but you got control of it and it's real smooth. The other winch system, you're either powering it out or not, so it's jerky. Instead of just a brake coming on stopping, you got them clutches that slowly come on and slow down that drum, but it still lets it go down the hill with just the gravity doing the work there. The log harvesting in this tract is now completed. The yarder is moving to a new location. This land is now replanted with young seedlings. The soil has hardly been disturbed by the recent harvest. The branches and leaves are returned to the soil as nutrients to feed these young trees for fast growth. It is just another day of man, trees, soil, and nature living harmoniously together for generations to come. The loggers here know, when you treat the land well, you get many more returns. <laughs>